It's Faya. So, oh. Let me just dive into today's agenda, guys. Cleaning the countertops. Some vanilla. <laughs> We're starting off this video strong. Please don't mind my hair. Yeah. I'm gonna cook again because it's 10 p.m. But anyways, we didn't have dinner yet and I have a, a village to feed again. <laughs> as, 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 the, as the head chef, I should take responsibility. Bring my duties to light. <laughs> Welcome back to the cooking show. I'm a born singer. International playboy. Get out of our shop. As we already know. You don't clean the next shirt, you know that? I have an audience here today. Give me claps. <laughs> Thank you so much. Today, we're gonna try something so hot, you guys. When I was in Korea, my friend Sarah, shout out to Hoji Sara, I freaking love her. She introduced me to Inky Gayo sandwiches. Now, if you don't know what an Inky Gayo sandwich <laughs> Okay, according to Sundi, which he is in hot waters right now, so I don't know if it's a smart idea to kind of talk about him. No, don't talk about him. Anyway, Sundi. Yeah, I think you just into your career. Idols will go buy these SBS Inky Gayo sandwiches and they'll pass it to other idol members and different groups as a way to pass their numbers. The system fooled us. These sandwiches became very viral after, you know, that, that statement was made. We are late on the trend. And then recently, K-pop idol burgers. Mm-hmm. Welcome to the cooking show. Here's my sous chef. Our ingredient haul. Because we are making sandwiches and burgers, we have two varieties, okay? We have burger buns. Anything that tickles your pickle. Sandwich bread, which I am completely drowned in regret. I should have just got a regular white bread. That's the point. I was at the grocery store and my sister had happened to convince me to just get this. So now we're stuck with this. Get white bread. We're diving deeper and we got ourselves some burger meat. Not from scratch because we don't thrive on that organic shit. Just get and then in the fridge, we have potato salu. We have co salu. We have, where's the jam? <laughs> Strawberry jalu. <laughs> we have, we have two eggu. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, we can take this vise off because I'm gonna ruin it. My friend bought it for me. Okay, now that we have all ingredients, we're almost done. So, wait, actually, okay, hold on. Let me think about this. What am I doing again? The thing with, about the sandwiches and the burgers, they contain the same contents. Oh, a sandwich needs crap, but if you know me, I don't eat seafood. People think it's like a, an allergy, but it's just a phobia, so. Not phobia, it's a choice. <laughs> That's why your girl takes the fish or your gummy bear. The first thing we need to do is figure out our common denominators. I'm gonna break this down. Sandwich, burger, potato, Egg, mayo, cabbage, carrot, jam. So as you guys can tell, with my high technique of technology, my whiteboard tells me that three things in common here. Why did I do that? We need to combine the potato salad with the eggs. So that's gonna be its own concoction. This is where the journey starts. We need a bowl. We need a spoon. You don't have a spoon. A fork with it. According to my instincts, we need a lot of this. We're just going to trust. We're gonna take some scissors. And yes, it is the 21st century and I am tired of boiling eggs. Oh, we should wash our hands. That led me to just using my leftover keto eggs. As you can tell, this keto journey is going not strong. Two eggs to represent our 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 balls. So you don't want to be afraid. You just want to get right into the eggs. Yeah, these are eggs right here. They left the shell on this. How hazardous. This could have cut my vocal cords and you guys would not hear my voice again. I just go ahead and take my fork and I just, you know, mash up the eggs right into the palms of my hand. Salmonella? Salmonella can wait. Oh. Mmm, I love hard burger eggs. I don't know what I'm saying. Now that you have that in the hair, you just wanna take the potato salad that we have here and you're just gonna dump most of it in. This has mayo already. Oops, I just licked the fork. Are you okay? 
Oh look, I found a new fork. Okay. <laughs> it's okay, we're family. We do this all the time. We double dip all the time. You're fine. Because I like to manually work. I like to burn calories a lot. That explains why I'm so in shape, you know? Ow. <laughs> I'm just gonna mash up the potato and the eggs. I should learn how to speak without spitting so much. As you guys can see, the two lovers have began to create their own species. The embryo had been reached. That is mature cotton right there. Cotton. I'm so tired. <laughs> like, I know that this looks like it can be on Food Network. Channel 64 got nothing on me. We have a little bit left because I have a niece on my left that tends to eat this alone. Can I eat it now? We're almost there. Today we have no obstacles. So now we're preparing the jam. To prepare the jam here, all you have to do is open the jar. 10 grams of carbs, oh my gosh. Now we have to prepare coleslaw. Linda needs to loosen up, so. Where are You should show your Guess you know I play tennis. I'm the ball girl. Everyone has to have a stance. And this is what I do. Everything's in a bag because, because. <laughs> we prepared it. Next, the patties. Just so easy to make. You know, this is what tricked me, okay? I was very tempted to make my own burger meat, but I thought they're sick of watching me cook because they're jealous of my skills. Okay, fine. We'll get microwave versions. Because, oh, they're not microwave versions. I have been defeated again. You're so lazy, just cook them. It's 1030. We should oven. This calls for so now that we have crossed this problem, we should prepare our onion. I mean, oven. <laughs> 16 minutes of broiling. That means we gotta put everything else back in the fridge. Assist. Here it is. We're taking some aluminum filler down here. Using our scissors that are not sanitary. I use the scissors to cut off my price tags as well. And also to cut off the lint on the sofa, so. Last one for champions only. I mean, can I order contacts tonight? Sure. And they're ready to go. Now we're gonna wash our hands. Hello. We're gonna pull up my sleeves. Can you approve this before I? What? You need permission again? Oh. <laughs> we're gonna turn on broyle and start to 16 minutes. And there we have that. Because of our sudden troubles, I guess now we can prepare the sandwich as we wait. As we see, I have potato salad out, the bread. Grab any plate you see around the kitchen. Yep. Now to prepare the... The bread is our companion in this, 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 this process. We're gonna take a very new one, a whole wet ass bread. We're gonna take a butter knife because we like being safe on this channel and we like being family friendly. Cut the bread. Cut the bread. Cut the bread. This bread is very moist. I don't know why people don't like the word moist. I love moist. Wow, well, this bread is just something else. Literally breaking apart. This bread is a visual representation of me. Live action from the kitchen. <laughs> what? A lot of you guys are like face. Touching your phone screen while doing this. Well, just for you, I got a new phone that allows me to use my face. <laughs> my face. Oh my god. Swiping with my knuckles. Calm down, Linda. Potato, egg, mayo, jam, okay? Again, you can add crab. I don't like crab, so we're not going there today. We're gonna add the jam. Pay close attention. We're just gonna spread this on very sophisticatedly. Look at this color. Doesn't this remind you of something? Love. That you get monthly? Do my taste buds are running wild. And then on the other end of our bread spectrum, to adding another scoop of jam on this side. Ah! Ooh, they look good. Potato still lose them go on the flatter end because I said so. Ooh, am I supposed to flip these? Oh my god! Can we again? They're not! They're fine! I forgot to flip these. Oh my lord. Oh, they're okay. Okay, we got this, we got this. We got it. You think the alarm's gonna go on? Don't worry, that was just a little bit technical difficulty that we had in the studio. Back to our regular programming. The egg and the idol burger licked scramble. I don't have much time right now, so it's, we're doing whatever 
It's fine. This is the idol sandwich. Mm. Mm. Wow, look at that beauty. Oh, that looks good. Beautiful. Oh, no. They have a little char to it. The char represents a it's like I barbecued outside. Again though? But it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not horrendous. It wasn't me. You're fine. It kind of looks like the sausage ones, which is preferred in this recipe. I'm gonna, whoa, buy one. Jam. Ignore this, pretend, pretend it's your bias. Jam. Slap it on the burger. I'm just gonna spread that all out, all even. And then, a little bit more jam. Put it on the opposite end. This looks good. I'm like, I'm like sweating. Slap that on. And now we're gonna take a little bit of the specimen. This is questionable. It will hit our core. It's gonna give us a reaction. That's what we want. A little bit more of the potato salad. Just a little for, for the gram. Some may say this is trifling. I truly believe that this may be life changing. I'm gonna give a little more honor just to really make sure that we taste what we paid for. Wow! Do you see that? Oh, look at that! So I should burn it again. Beautiful burger that's ready to be indulged, engulfed, so good advertising. ingested. You see a little bit of that burnt burger, but you know, no shape. Every patty deserves love. Oh my golly. Please appreciate how beautiful this burger looks. Who needs ketchup when you have strawberry jam? Who needs mustard when you have potato salad? Let's give credit where it's due, okay guys? Look at this sandwich. Are you ready? Hmm. Oh my god. Guys, guys, this is so good. I'm not kidding. Who wants a bite? This is so much better than I thought. Taste it, taste it. It's good! I don't like the strawberry jam. I don't like this. Okay, so here's the sandwich. I think we're just hungry. The jam is a little sweet. Maybe I did overdo the jam. You can mainly taste the jam. Mmm! Yeah. This is slop. Everything complements each other. You really taste the jam because it is sweet, but in the burger at least, the meat kind of takes away all that like power, you know? So it gives a nice little compliment. But in the sandwich, because I don't have crab, you can really just taste the jam. You can't even really taste the potato salad. But we're our own. They love it. Anyways, that's it for this video. My hair is oily, so I'm gonna go dye my hair. Until next time, I'm Cindy Lou. Bye. Oh my god, I forgot all about the coleslaw. I'm gonna try my niece's burger because she put the lettuce, not coleslaw, but the lettuce and carrot. Are they gonna work out? I don't know the difference. It tastes like chicken food. I don't know, okay, bye for real. Update, everyone's getting a headache. The jam is so sweet, so don't put so much. She also turned this into a salad. This is kind of disgusting. Everyone's fainting left and right. Hidden consequences in the sandwich. <laughs> No one's gonna steal your food! <laughs> That's just a brief update. Maybe just have half a sandwich? We're gonna have diarrhea tonight.